Hey, 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 hey. MZ? Do I have to get the hickory? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and we are back from Murphy. I don't think I vlogged. Heath probably picked up the camera and vlogged a little bit at my mom and dad's house. Heath is leaving for work and it's Sunday. Heath has to go finish some trees at our landlord's house and then he'll be home. I got my hair done. This is probably the first time I'm showing it on here, but it looks so good. Thank the Lord for having a sister. For her as a hairdresser anyways we gracie's not here this is gonna be a sad week without her when we left murphy my heart already hurt and i missed her in so much like before she we even left murphy but she's staying with um bobby and doria which is heath's um brother um she's staying with him and going camping this week and then she'll be coming out this coming weekend with my grandma and he's grandma for Le levy surgery. I might have already said that. I probably did. But it's still sad. And I'm really sad. And I miss her. And it's going to be hard without her because she's such a big help. Like, she's, she always takes Ramsey on a little ride in the morning on his Jeep. She walks with us every morning and helps me. And so it's just going to be hard. And I miss her so much. The Murphy trip was good. was very good. Um, I didn't feel anxious or anything while I was there at all. Um, but I felt really good. It felt so good to see my family. Like, I feel like when you move away, like it makes you appreciate your family even more than you did. Because I was just so excited to see my family and get to stay with them. And we spent the night with my mom and dad, which we never do. Keith's never spent the night there, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it felt really good to see them and spend time with them and Marsha's birthday party was on Friday we filmed a little bit there oh, and my you. grandma came to that so that was fun we got to see Jonathan um it was just overall a really it was a really good day trip 24 hour trip what are you doing you silly goosers what are you doing you gonna brush my hair oh so beautiful so beautiful it's been a little while, guys, since I've picked up the camera. It's been a really boring day today. I've just been cleaning, doing the dishes since Gracie's not here, so I have to do the dishes this week. Another reason I miss her. Um, nope, 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 nope. Come back over here. Um, it's about 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's about 1 o'clock right now. And <laughs> Levy just literally stood here on this couch and just face planted. And if I wouldn't have caught her with my leg, she would have just fit, fell off the couch. These kids. Um, We have literally just been sitting here. Uh, Levy woke up from her nap about 11.30. Ramsey's over there. We're watching Abominable on Hulu. It's a really good movie if you haven't watched it. I, I like it. Ramsey likes it. We're still waiting on dad to get home. Um, he had to go do our landlord's trees. I talked to him a little while ago and he said he was done and he was on his way back to the shop and then he would be here. So hopefully he'll be here soon. It's a beautiful day outside. So beautiful. So maybe we can go somewhere, do something. I don't know. We've had a pretty long weekend so we may honestly just chill today. I don't know. But it's been a really good day today. I haven't really had much anxiety, nothing. I felt really just normal all day today. Really haven't had any any bad thoughts or anything. So thankful for that, that we're having a good day. Um, the world is in just complete chaos right now. I just heard a little while ago that they were riding in Charlotte and that the Charlotte... Uh, Mecklenburg police called in called in the National Guard or something like that. So I just really I just want to pray for the world right now because the world needs God right now more than ever. There's so much hate. There's so much 
violence. There's just so much death and just unnecessary things that are happening that shouldn't be happening. And we need God more than ever. I've just been thinking a lot about that today. I've been watching so many things, just about everything that's been going on, and it's just sad. And it is heartbreaking, it's ridiculous, and I'm just sorry to everyone that has to deal with that. Like, it breaks my heart, but I have no idea, no idea at all what they're going through or how they're feeling. All I can do is be sorry and speak up and say something and let people know that I don't think it's okay whatsoever. since I picked up the camera. We have not done anything at all today. Dad is home for the day and he's in here working on the next vlog that we're about to put out. It's purchase soon. It'll be our second one. Um, It'll be our trip to Murphy that we just took. I vlogged like a couple days before that, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to do our second one as this one. So, pretty excited. It should be up tonight sometime. Are you excited about it? Are you pretty excited about the second one? Yeah, if I didn't have to end, I'd be really excited. No. What? Yeah, uh-oh. Better be nice. We're just running around. We miss G. It's been a pretty sad day without her not being here. We haven't had any. Sophia hasn't come over and played or anything because she hasn't been here, so... It's weird not having her here to say the least, but she don't know she's having such a good time with Bobby and Dory and Pierce and Ava. She's having a blast, I know. Um, I may probably just go ahead and end the vlog here since it's six o'clock. Get these kids bathed and then put to bed and then probably just relax and watch TV for the rest of the night. I am tired as usual and yeah. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Probably the same old, same old, but we'll see. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching yeah. this vlog. We really hope you enjoy these vlogs. All right. We are, you guys are in the car with us. It's about 9 o'clock now. And woo! Well, that was scary. Um... I gotta fix this, y'all. There we go. Okay. It's about 9 o'clock now, and we have to go to Walmart, and Heath called me a little bit ago and said that he was dumping a truck, or the truck, uh, this morning, and he left his phone on the side of the truck, and it's fallen off in his um, boss's driveway, or it's in the fire pit, he said. So, let's hope it's not in the fire pit. So, we have to go to his boss's house to... Yes! Okay, it's alright. I'll get it in a minute. We have to go to his boss's house to hopefully find his phone. We have got life, uh, we have life 360. And so, it says that he's... <clears throat> it says that his phone is at his boss's house. Um, so... Like, I don't know if you'll, yeah, you can see it. Like, it says that it should be, like, right there. Because the burn pile's, like, down here, I think. Like, somewhere, like, over, or no, it's, like, right over in here. And it says his phone's up here near the house. So, hopefully it is. 
because it's gonna suck if he doesn't have a phone again for three or four days. Okay guys, I'm driving and I'm on a little back road, so we're good, but I went, got to Heath's boss, boss's house to look for his phone and my, the 360 like showed like you know, I was right on top of it and like that it should have been up in the driveway a little bit, but that must have just been the last time that he had it working because I walked down to the burn pit looked in the burn pit and as soon as I got to the burn pit I could see it on the burn pile burning away I got a picture of it I don't know if you'll be able to see it maybe you can kind of see it but yeah so his phone's gone completely gone so now we have to and he just got this phone just got the stamp phone we made it back you guys from I think the last time I talked to you guys, I just found Heath's phone burnt in a, in the fire pit at his boss's house. So that's just great. Um, at one word I had to get diapers and I had to pick Heath up one of these ear candle things because his ear is not doing too well. It's really stopped up. I had to pick up some more rechargeable batteries because ours we've had for like, I don't know, four years, and they're getting a little where they don't want to charge for very much anymore. What else did I get? Oh, Ramsey some chewing gum, if it, since he was a good boy in Walmart. Levy is in the bed, and I've got Ramsey's pool filled up, and his water table all new and filled up, and he's out here playing. Missing Gigi, of course. But, yeah, he's just playing. Levy is asleep. We had a freak out just a minute ago. I was going to film it, but I couldn't get to the camera in time just because I wanted to kind of film the struggle with him sometimes. But he loves filling his pool up with the water hose. He loves playing with the water hose in general. I need to find him something that like is a water hose that's hooked up to water that you can just like reuse, like water that doesn't come out of the hose that's coming out of the ground, like that you're just wasting with something that you can just keep using because he loves filling it up. But after it gets super full, like I fill up the water table and I let him fill this up. And once it gets full, I turn the water off and he had a complete meltdown, a complete meltdown. So we had a good five minute meltdown over that. He's finally happy now. I'm surprised Levy didn't wake up because normally she does because I just get so frustrated with him. That's something that I pray to God daily for is patience because patience is a hard virtue to have. And I have it. I'm okay. I have pretty good patience. But with Ramsey, whenever Levy's asleep and I don't want him to wake her up, like my patience is just so thin. So I get really aggravated. So then I yell or just something else that I pray to God for is to, like, my yelling, like, I've got to stop yelling. I'm sure everybody in this neighborhood has heard me yell at some point, which is kind of embarrassing. But that's two things that I pray every morning when I pray is that please give me patience today, understanding with the kids, like, help me understand how they're feeling, help me get on their level, because I know that they're just little and they have emotions that they can't control. And... It's not fair to them for me to get upset. So that's just two things that I really try every morning to focus on before the kids get up and before the day gets started is patience, understanding, and all that good stuff because they deserve to have a happy mom. So it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Thank the Lord for blessing me with another beautiful day. Beautiful kids, healthy kids, a healthy husband that can work, healthy family, a nice house just for keeping me out of addiction, for keeping me strong, healthy, smart, safe. Thank you, Jesus. It is lunchtime, guys. Levy finally woke up. Ramsey didn't stay out for very long, but we're eating lunch. Ramsey is in love with hot dogs right now, so he's having a hot dog with ketchup and some cheese and some goldfish with some water. Is it good? Is it good? Okay. And Sissy is having some pepperonis with cheese, goldfish, and strawberries. And then you're not eating very many strawberries. You love strawberries. What's wrong? Is that good? And then Toby's over here waiting for Levy to drop something. Like always. I am making, guess, 
Steakums, of course. My fave. This one's done. It's about to be burnt, of course. I eat Steakums. I ate Steakums last night for supper. And now I'm eating it for lunch. So if you can't tell, I like Steakums. They're so good. I put them on a sub roll and I put provolone cheese on them. Put them in the oven for a little bit. Let the cheese melt. And then I put ketchup on it and it's so good. But the provolone cheese makes it even better. Um, we are going to eat lunch. I haven't heard from Heath anymore today. He doesn't have any way to get a hold of me, but I haven't heard nothing else from him. So it's radio silence on that end, but I haven't heard from Gracie. She didn't call me last night. Um, I'll probably text in a little bit and see how she's doing. Um, surely she'll call me, but we're going to, I'm going to eat and watch a little bit of 2020. And then we're going to probably go back outside since Levy. Since Levy is awake now, we'll probably go back outside after I get done eating. Let them play till about 2, and then it'll be nap time for both of them. And then I have a crap ton of laundry to fold because I got behind. I normally am pretty good about it, and I'll like do a load every single day. Um, just because like I have like it makes me have such bad anxiety when I have a ton of laundry to do, or when the house is like. A wreck is anybody else like that like if you sit down like I can't sit down comfortably and watch TV or eat if the like the floor is a wreck or if I know that they're the house is a wreck or something like it just eats at me I can't be the only one but so after they go to bed I have a lot of laundry to do I need I have to get that caught up so I can stop thinking about it in my brain and yeah that's pretty much all that's going on here. Just another day in quarantine. Bored out of our minds, but still doing good. So, let's eat some lunch. Okay. Hello, guys. It is 2 o'clock, and I just got both of the kids down at the same time. And I'm about to eat an ice cream cone. And I started on laundry. I've already got that little bit folded over there and then I've got like two more loads to fold. But I'm gonna eat this, watch some 2020, probably smoke a bowl, and then finish folding more clothes and wait for the kiddos to get up. They'll probably be up in about two, two and a half hours. So I've got a little bit of time to myself, amazingly. Lunch was very good. It was delicious. The kids ate all their lunch. I ate all mine. And yeah, the house is going to be quiet for two hours. So I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to take some me time. Get my space and energy right. And finish out and enjoy the rest of the day. I'll probably pick back up the camera when the kids wake up because I think we'll probably go back outside for a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't work like super late this evening. And hopefully he'll be home in a little bit. It's two o'clock like I said, but um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy this quietness. Like, do you hear it? You can't hear anything. You cannot hear anything at all. It's so quiet. <laughs> hey guys, it's a little bit later. It's around almost 7 o'clock. Heath got home a little bit ago and we decided to make a fire because I felt like having a fire. Mm -hmm. 